Hey everyone, so I will be telling you about the cables and plugs, so still on the topic of electricity at home, okay? So, when you have, um, you know, the plugs connected to the main, uh, if you would open the, the cable, uh, you would see three different wires, just like these ones, okay? And the cable is kind of our either um, a not a stiff plastic or rubber, and then again you have uh, plastic or rubber around each of these wires that have di different colors. Okay, so there is a reason why they need to be made of plastic. First of all, think about it: the metals uh, they are going to be uh, transferring the energy, the electrical energy. They are made of copper, and this is because they can be um, changed into shapes, so they are quite malleable and they conduct current. So metals are used, uh, or copper is the best thing to use inside those wires in order for current to be able to pass through. However, if you touch something that co is a conductor and there is current passing through it, you're going to get an electric shock. So the wires that are um, transferring this current or sending this current around, they need to be coated. They need to be coated with either plastic or rubber, okay? So to prevent electric shocks, they are being coated with thick plastic or rubber, okay? And this is because plastic is an insulator and does not conduct the current, okay? Now, you might think about why do I need coats in all of these plastics, these wires anyway, and I still have another one in there, okay? More to that in, um, in a minute, okay? Now, each wire has a different co color, okay? So when I'm coating the wires, the copper wires, I have these specific colors that I'm going to use according with the function of the wire, okay? And um, this is universal, so whatever you're using, you're going to see the same, okay? So the live wire that carries a high voltage, the voltage that is going to be in your mind, that's going to be brown or uh, red, sometimes they are, they are red. Then you have the earth wire. Now the earth wire is a green and yellow, so it has green and yellow stripes. And that's a safety wire that is needed to hurt the appliances in a metal case, and it makes it safer to touch the appliance if it develops the fault. So it grounds the electricity in case there is uh, current flowing into a place that it should not be flowing, okay? Um, by the way, this picture, I think I took it from BoardWorks, I'm not sure. And then the neutral wire is just there to complete the circuit. It's a blue wire and is, at, is kept at zero voltage by the electricity company. And in another lesson, in another video, you're going to understand why it's important that the neutral wire is at zero volts, okay? So each wire has a function and each wire will have a certain color um, so we can identify them and of course we give them names. And again, this is because they have a function, so it's important that we know the colors of the wires and what they do, okay? Now, how are they put into a plug? And again, this picture uh, is not mine. Where, uh, how are they being put into a plug? Well, I get the earth terminal on the uh, longer pin, okay? So that's where the earth wire is going to be. The neutral terminal is away from the fuse, okay? Then I have the cable that has all these wires, of course, and then I have the live terminal that is just near the fuse, okay, because that's where the current is going to increase if something is going wrong with the appliance. I have the fuse, which I'm going to be telling you about next lesson, and I have the cable grip. Now, let's just think about safety here. So the cable grip is, of course, because I don't want this main cable to come out and then the wires being exposed, okay? And the cable grip uh, is just there to hold, as I told you, this cable. And this cable is made of plastic, again, because plastic is a good conductor. Uh, sorry, because plastic is a bad conductor and a, a very good insulator. Now, each of these wires, they are coated as well with either plastic or rubber because, again, they are good insulators. The wires itself, themselves, they are made of copper because copper can is quite malleable and it transfers current, so it is, it is a good conductor. Finally, the pins, the pins where you attach the plug to the mains, they are made of brass. And this is because brass is quite strong, uh, so it's not going to change shape or get damaged easily, but also it is an electrical conductor, okay? So, which wire does which, just to, par, uh, to, to stop this part, and again, this one, as you can see, is from BoardWorks. So, earth wire is the green and yellow, it is a safety wire. 
live wire that's the brown or red and it carries a high voltage and finally the neutral wire is the blue wire and completes the circuit okay it is essential that you know the names the colors what they do and where they are attached into a plug okay this is very very important for you to know um, if you just want to know the basics or if you're having an exam okay and then finally, let's think about short circuits and safety because I told you that I was going to explain something later on. And here we go. Now, each of the wires inside the plug, they are coated themselves. So this is not because they are thinking that people are going to touch those wires directly because they are, you know, inside of a case of stiff plastic. Uh, but it is because if the live wire that carries a high voltage so the brown one touches the neutral wire, the blue one that is kept at zero volts, then a large current is going to pass between the two wires. And this is going to be on the point that they are in contact, of course. Now, if the fuse blows, this current will be cut off. And this is called a short circuit, okay? You may even see the spark. Now, the same principle comes about you touching those wires. You should never touch the wires inside a plug even though the appliance is switched off. So even though they are coated and uh, with an insulator, uh, you even and even if the appliance is um, is switched off, you should never touch them. And this is again due to safety. Again, your body is at the same voltage as the neutral wire. Your body is at zero volts. And if it gets into contact with the live wire, it's going to happen the same that it would happen to the neutral wire. There's going to be a huge potential difference in between your body and the live wire, and current will def therefore flow through your body, okay? Now, you don't have a fuse to stop that current go through, okay? So, this current falling through, flowing through in your body uh, is an electric shock and you, get, get, you can die from it. So, this is why you should not touch um, the wires, okay? There are even more things we can talk about. We can say don't do it or don't have them near water because water decreases the resistance in your body. Sorry for that, okay? But that's the main stuff. So, here you go. Everything you need to know about cables and plugs and safety. Up to my next video. Be happy and healthy. Bye!